Let's get ready together using only liquid and cream products which are also affordable. I actually think this cream is discontinued but I actually found one the other day on like a clearance sale and I just had to grab it. It's the Hello Good Stuff Sika Face Cream from Essence. This packaging is the nicest, but it's okay. Skin just doesn't look very nice. I don't know why. I've got a lot of texture and pigmentation. Then I'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation on. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So I'll just be putting a little bit on. I'm just gonna take my finger and just blend it in. Oh, this foundation, I love it so much. See that? And then I'll just take the sponge and just dab it. I'm going to go in with the Switch Beauty Skinny Legend. I haven't had this for that long, but for the couple of times I've used it, it's really nice. I actually want to see how the Switch Beauty Bubble Blush in the shade Brown Sugar is going to look. If that didn't really work as a blush for my skin tone, I would have gone in with my trusty Baby Got Blush. I still want to try the different shades of this one. Now going into concealer, this Essence Skin Loving Sensitive Concealer. Now I'm not even going to start complaining. We all know she's being discontinued. I'm just hoping that I will be able to find something that is similar. I'm quite sad, I'm not going to lie. It's just like none other. It's not thick and heavy and overpowering it's just it's perfect just look at that look at the glow look at the glow this concealer gives i'm going in with the due diligence highlighter from switch beauty i'll just be putting a little bit on my finger because this stuff is potent and then i'll just dab it on the high points of my face like here I just take my black blush brush and I angle it and then I just tap that in. Yo. Like I said, this is such a potent highlighter. It's not even funny. I sometimes have to be very careful like not to highlight my texture because like I love my highlighter so much, but sometimes it could be detrimental. Moving on to my eyeshadow, I'm literally just going to take some of this Skinny Legend. An eyeshadow brush, throw this into my corners and then just blend that out. Then I'm going to take my highlighter <laughs> and throw some on my finger and then pop that onto the center and in a corner of my eye. Yo this highlighter then I'm gonna take a clean finger like my pinky and I'm just gonna pop some to the inner corners I feel so glowy which I love tap that in for mascara the essence lash without limits the brown one I just feel like it pulls my makeup together very nicely now I quickly want to review this brow like a boss essence eyebrow gel in a separate video so I'll be back and then you'll see what it looks like. I mentioned in that video now that this Brow Like a Boss Ink Brow Gel. So right, I'm not the biggest fan. I prefer a pencil over that with more like control of where you place it. So I'm just going in with my Catrice Eyebrow Stylist Brow Pencil. All the areas in that I feel need it. And then I'm just going to work it through with my spoolie. And then for the second last step is the Juicy Bomb Lip Gloss in the shade Bouncy Bubblegum. I haven't tried this one yet. Mm, this one is so nice. I think this one might be my favorite. I need to stock up. I love that so much. I just want to check my concealer. Should I add a bit more? Well, I look a little bit like shiny. I don't know. I'm just thinking I'm going to add tiniest bit because I was like busy with shimmers and stuff and I'm going in with my essence fix and last 18 hour makeup fixing spray I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit of this on because the last time I drenched my face and it ended up like burning a bit I don't know why so I'm just gonna go like 
I'm quickly gonna just you know do something with my hair I might not do anything and I'll be back to share what the end of the makeup looks like look like <laughs> then I'll be back to share what the end of the makeup looks like when it's like dry <laughs> I don't really have anything spectacular to do with my hair besides just leave it like let it just do its thing but I'm really happy with how my makeup turned out today very glowy dewy like natural I'd say and using a few products only a lot of them I used for different applications so that's always amazing when you can use products like that so thank you so much for watching let me know what your favorite products are in the comments down below